Okay, I'm going to look at doing a new series on identifying different eucalypts and information in different species. So first, I'm going to have a look at Eucalyptus nitens, probably one of the most popular eucalypts in New Zealand for firewood. Um, quick shelter, probably one of the fastest growing in the right conditions. Not necessarily the best conditions here in Marlborough. It's extremely dry. You can see all the grass is dead. Nonetheless, still surviving. Quite a distinctive tree. Have a look at the adult up close. There's a few different subspecies of, of these with different forms. These particular ones you see a lot with that hold their branches quite low, tend to branch right to the ground, even when they're quite big like these ones are, and its neighbour there. There's other forms you see that have a lot, a lot clearer, low to the ground. These particular ones I think are a subspecies denticulata. You can see on the leaves, look at the notched Notched edges, quite a distinctive leaf, really long, quite leathery, always dark green, almost glossy, very distinctive leaves. Do any similar leaves, probably a globulus, and now the blue gums. Quite a distinctive trunk too. It's very usually straight, quite often ribbony with all the shed bark like this one is. Under the bark is usually a sort of yellowish, creamy colour. You can just see up. The light's not very good there. Sometimes a sort of burnt look to them, like the trunk on that one. And we'll have a look at the fruit and the flowers. This one has a lot of buds on it. You can see the little bud, very small flowers. This one's got little bud clusters on it, always in sevens with a central six with one in the centre. This one's a bit further developed there, quite small. Don't normally have a lot of flowers on them in New Zealand or here in this region compared to other eucalypts that are covered in flowers. Have a look at some of the fruit that are ripe. Some ripe fruit here, very small, sort of barrel shaped. You can see the valves on top there. Valves tend to stick out a wee bit. Don't always see a lot of fruit. And there's some old ones there that have opened up and released their seeds. So quite a shiny wee barrel shaped capsule. But often you won't find many on a tree, often quite sparse. This one looks like it's going to have a lot of flowers on it this year. It's unusual. Have a look at the trunk there. So the juveniles of these, quite distinctive. Very bluish leaves and square stem. But again, there's quite a lot of variation between the subspecies or provenance. Some tend to have more pointy leaves, some rounder. You can see the two specimens i got here from different parents. Quite a bit of variation in the colouring and the leaf shape. Some bluer, some greener, and some rounder and some pointy. Quite a distinctive juvenile, probably the only similar a uh, juvenile eucalypt would be globulus in its family, but you can distinguish them. Globulus tends to be bluer and a softer foliage, not as firm, and often glaucus with that waxy coating on it, a white waxy coating you can rub off your fingers. A lot softer foliage, a lot softer to the touch. 
Nightens is quite firm. So I've got some information here from a couple of New Zealand books. Um, I'll put up a couple of screenshots and the covers if you want to go and read further. Um, I'm sure the authors weren't mine, I think they're both dead. So I'll just put a couple of seconds of each there and you can pause the video and go and read them, a lot of good information there. And subscribe or check back later and I'll have some other popular eucalypts uh, identification guides and information.